Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. As you can tell, I have my quarantine hairstyle on. And this is what you're gonna see from now on until everything gets better, you know? So I'm just hoping to, you know, stay safe, stay at home, keep my family safe and healthy, keep my extended family safe and healthy, and also all the people around me. So this is what you're gonna see from now on. I don't care, deal with it, <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get into the topic at hand. So Anthony uh, tweeted at me asking if it's possible to do a left nav just like he saw on ghost.org. Now, this is what he's talking about. If you click around on the left nav on their uh, documents uh, website, you have a main nav and a sub nav, all right? And when I was going through this, I thought, all right, this is easy. You don't have to decode anything. You can do this in Webflow. And then as I got deeper into it, you do need some custom code. Now, don't worry. You only need two lines of custom code. You need uh, CSS, one line of CSS, and one line of jQuery. Now, if that scares you, don't worry. As with all previous videos that I've done, I break it down as simply as I can. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so once again, here's the uh, example that I was given. And here is my take on it, uh, on it. And yeah, it's just these two links, but if you click on link number one, it goes to page two, and then it opens up the sub nav so this is not a drop-down menu, okay? This is actually just text links, and I styled it, all right? But what opens it is the custom code that I was talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're going to build this from scratch, we're going to add the link elements, and then we're gonna get into custom code, and then I'll show you that it works. Here we go. I'm going to add a div block and so this div block is going to hold all my nav items okay everything so i'm going to call this nav wrapper all right i'm going to give it a width of say one 150 is good and that's it inside my nav wrapper i'm going to add a text link and we'll call this nav item one give it a class name of we'll give it a class name of link and with this link i've added some styles like any style you want to do it's up to you uh, i'll set it to bold and that's it okay and now i'm going to drag in another div block right under there and call this sub links wrapper okay no styling necessary this is just the holder of the sub links okay so let's go ahead and add another and I pressed uh, command E to show this quick find and I can type in link go to text link and there we go I'm gonna call this sub nav item one and actually, I'm going to say go to page two. And this one is going to have a class name of sublink. And the only styles I did to the sublink is I gave it some padding. I set the display to block. The borders, I just set a left border with the style of solid, width two, and color transparent. Okay. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this and say this goes to page three. And yeah, and then for this nav item right here, I can just go ahead and copy it and paste it inside the nav wrapper so it goes at the very bottom. Call this nav item two. And then I can copy this sublink wrapper and do the same thing. Click on nav wrapper and then paste it down there, all right? And this one will go to page four, and this one will go to page five. Cool? 
All right. So we've set that up. Let's go ahead and click on this nav wrapper and then I'm going to right click on the tab and create symbol. I'm going to call this new nav. Awesome. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to click inside of here and let's go ahead and point, go to page two to go to page two. So this link setting page goes to page two. All right. This one goes to page three. All right. And so nav one will also go to page two. Nav item two will go to page four. This one will go to page four. This is not the most exciting part of the demo, but or I mean tutorial, but yeah, got to do it. All right, we're done setting up our links. We're done setting up our symbol. All right. So if I go to page two inside of Webflow, nothing's there. Why? Because. I didn't add my symbol. So I'm going to add symbol, new nav. Okay. Now, if you're wondering, if you're new to Webflow and you're wondering, hey, how come this is not butting up to the left in the top? Well, that's because this body, I've set a uh, style for padding. Okay. So this is, again, this is just for demo purposes. You can add this nav wherever you want. But here we go. If you notice, page two is bold. Go to page two is bold. All the other sublinks aren't. That's because with sublink, if I'm on the current page and that link is on, uh, going to that page that I'm currently on, Webflow will give this green extra combo class. Okay. And so what I did was I've added a bold style to it. All right. So now that's done. All I have to do is copy this new nav and paste it on all the pages. Yes, I know my pages are out of order. Let me fix it there. Okay. So as you notice, I'm on page five and this one's bold. And I've also added a, a color to the current uh, combo class, I've added a color of blue. So that way, when it's transparent, it looks like this, as you can see here. But when I'm on the current page, it turns blue. Okay, cool. Nice, let's keep going. So now that we have all of our symbols on the pages, we can go ahead and start coding. But first, we got to remember what our class names are, okay? So if I double click into the nav wrapper, we got to remember we've named the we named it sublink wrapper. This is the thing we want to show and hide, okay? So we have sublink and sublink wrapper. All right. Remember those. Let's go to project settings and go to custom code. And when you add custom code here through here, rather than the pages panel, this goes site wide. So you don't have to copy and paste this code over and over on every page you create. No, Webflow does it for you right here. So here's the first uh, code, okay? It's sublinks wrapper display none. Now, what does this mean? Okay, so first on line one, I say, Hey browser, I'm creating custom CSS and how to tell the browser that is you say style. Okay. And then at the end, you got to tell the browser, okay, I'm done adding my custom styles. So you do slash style. Okay. Now let me just retype this. Now we remember what our, uh, element names were, right? So. We pre we pre ha, we put dot sub link wrapper. Okay. Now, what does this mean? The dot means the selector or class name that you gave that element. Okay. So that's what you're saying. You're saying, Hey browser, I have custom CSS. Now find anything that has 
this class name. So that's what the dot means. Find anything that has this class name. And now the browser's like, okay, which class name? Then you tell it, sublink wrapper. But you notice that everything is lowercase. That's how Webflow uh, produces your code, okay? If you ever have any all caps or uppercase letters, Webflow makes them all lowercase. Also, you notice that I put a dash instead of spaces. Well, that's what Webflow does also. It removes any spaces in your uh, class or selector names and replaces it with a dash. So it's sub dash link dash wrapper. All right, so now the browser is saying, okay, what do you wanna do with this element? So you give it a curly brace. This is how you tell the browser, hey, these are the styles. So curly brace, and then you say display colon none semicolon close curly brace. Now what this means is, hey browser, don't show it. When the page first loads, don't show it at all. Okay, and the browser's like, okay, I get it. Save changes, we're done with the CSS. That's it, that's, that's the only thing. And now let's go and um, let's do some JavaScript, or I mean jQuery. So again, you type in the, uh, you type in script to tell the browser, hey, I have some custom JavaScript. It's going to start here and then it's going to end here. So script and then end script. And now you tell the browser, all right, I have some jQuery that I want to tell you. The browser's like, okay, cool. So you say dollar sign, parenthes open parentheses, single quote. So you're telling the browser, hey, I want you to find all the elements with a class name. See, we use the dot again with the class name of sub link. Okay, and then you say to the browser, okay, this, no, oh, sorry, let me back up. So they say sublink, but also this, find the sublink that has a combo class of current. Now you might be thinking, Nelson, where'd you find that? Where'd you find w dash dash current? Well, if you look at the code, it's right there sub dash link and then space dash dash current. So when you have a combo class, this is what it actually looks like. It's a class space and then another class. All right. Now you might be wondering, but Nelson, you added a dot instead of a space. Well, this is where it gets kind of confusing, but this is how jQuery understands combo classes. Okay, so sub dash link dot and then the next class name. Okay, now, now that you told the browser to find that one element, you say dot parent, meaning find the parent. Who's the parent? Sub links wrapper. All right, so it looks for that first parent. So it goes up and then you say, oops, and then you tell it show, meaning show the thing, show the, oops, yeah, show the sub links wrapper, okay? So what we did was we told the CSS, all the sub link wrappers, hide them, display none, don't show it, then we get our jQuery to say, but hold on. Find the sublink that has a combo class of current. Find that one. Once you find it, find its parent. Then once you find that, show, show it. And so that's how the code works. Now, if I publish and let's go to it, fingers crossed. We have here nav item one, there we go. So what it's doing is again, we're hiding, let me inspect, 
we're hiding the sublink wrapper. As you can tell right here, this second sublink wrapper, we can't see it because it's display none right here. But this one right here, this has a display block, all right? Because that way we, we hit them all, but just for this one, we showed it. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. Um, yeah, to, to end it off, yeah, I'm trying something new. I'm trying to streamline my recording for my tutorials uh, because I have limited time nowadays. And uh, I still wanna make videos for you all whenever you're asking questions because I appreciate your support. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Uh, leave them below, click like, subscribe, all the good stuff if you wanna support me. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you all. So Thank you all so much. Uh, wow, I really messed up this ending. Should I keep it? Oh, well. <laughs> Have a good night, day, afternoon, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.